all of us. And if you're, well, what about this person? I'm not going to name names. What about this person? I get along so well with this person. No. Fuck, man. You should see some of our private conversations. Everybody hates you, Steve. We all do. Even the people that have been working for you the longest. Everybody hates you because we all know how shady you are and how little you value your employees and how unethical you are. say that I've ever personally been a believer in voodoo, but with the sort of transformation that Brandon Curry's undergone over the last few weeks, I'm starting to think that he's got to have a little bit of that voodoo magic on his side somewhere. Over the weekend, some incredible new progress photos surfaced of a completely ridiculous looking Curry, who looks to have far and away the best offseason of his career. For Curry, the move out to Oxygen Gym in Kuwait definitely seems to have done his body a whole lot of good. And if he carries this momentum with him all the way into the contest season, this could end up being the year we see him make his long overdue return to the top contest winner circle. We've heard a lot of noise lately about all the young guns heading into this year's Arnold Classic. But let's not forget about the old vet in the lineup who wouldn't mind teaching these young kids a thing or two. His name, Will Harris. Late Sunday night, some new training footage surfaced of the 600-year-old Will World Harris, just over five weeks out from stepping onto one of the most hallowed stages in bodybuilding for the first time in his career. Back when he was at his peak of his powers, a 100% Will Harris had more than enough muscle to stand in there and hold his own against some of the best in the sport. But after nearly a three year long layoff from competition, we're going to find out quick, fast and in a hurry if he's still got what it takes to trade shots with some of these young savages he'll be squaring off against come March. Right about now, the Arnold Australia is shaping up to be more than a worthy encore to start the season off right. And it looks like SciTech nutrition athlete Margaret Narr is trying to make it her own personal 2017 coming out party. This week, the Icelandic bombshell released newest progress photos showing off the early stages of what could very well be her best look ever. Narr is coming off an awesome 2016 campaign that saw her end the season with a standout performance on her first trip to the Olympia stage. And if she can start the year off with a solid effort down in Australia, might end up serving her as a springboard for another monster season. With all the talk about whether or not Hide Yamagishi will be able to defend his Arnold Classic title, no one seems to be giving any love to the only other man in the lineup who has an Arnold 212 title lining his trophy case, our old friend Jose Raymond. Late Sunday night, some new bat training footage surfaced from the Raymond camp showing the Boston Mass looking every bit as shredded and nasty as he was during his title run. After a tough 2016 season that saw him battle his way through a series of nagging injuries and a new marriage, Raymond finally looks like he's fully ready to go full bore once again. And if Jose Raymond is able to get some momentum going here in early 2017, there aren't many guys out there in the 212 lineup who are good enough to stop him. Hey guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!